everybody. This is DLL Cool J coming at you from Arch Cloud Labs. If you're watching this and it helps you out, consider sponsoring me by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash archcloudlabs. It'll keep me going and let me make more content. All right, let's get started. All right, so today is going to be a pretty quick video, and we're just going to cover how to actually install Radar 2 from Source. So the reason you'd want to do this rather than grabbing it from uh, the package or from a repository of whatever Linux system you're using is often those are severely out of date. Radar 2 is a pretty quick uh, moving project, so it's just better to grab it uh, from the Git repo and build it. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and scroll on down. You see the, I'm already at the GitHub page of the Radar org slash Radar 2. And there's a pretty quick just copy and paste command lines right here in their installation guide. So you can actually install uh, R2 with git or pip. I'm just going to go ahead, copy it here, pop on over to a terminal. And let me make this a little bit bigger. There we go. So that's not what I wanted. And there we go. We're going to go ahead and clone into radar2 and then run the appropriate install script. So with that, it'll go ahead and actually uh, install and in your path. Or if you want, you can install it into a different directory and then from there, uh, put that directory in your path and be on your way. But we'll go ahead and fast forward this because it should just build nice, nicely for us. And then uh, I'll show you some more tricks once we get back to it. All right, so now we're back and we have Radar2 installed. So let's go ahead and just double check that uh, it is in our path. And I'm just gonna do that by doing R2 and hitting enter. Sure enough, you get a little bit of the help menu. And if I go ahead and do a dash H, we can see uh, more of the command line options available to us. Let's just do a dash V to see that we do have uh, the latest build coming from uh, uh, GitHub. Excellent. So another thing that might interest you if you're setting up a dev environment or setting up an environment to tinker with the Radar 2 are some of the add-on packages that it has. So the add-on packages are all going to be managed through the uh, package manager that Radar2 ships with, which is R2PM, Radar2 Package Manager. And you can go ahead and just do, oh, let me go ahead and zoom up here a little bit. And if you just go ahead and do R2PM-H, you can see the appropriate commands uh, to execute to install, list, search, etc. cetera, uh, specific plugins for Radar2. Let's go ahead and say you're just curious of what exists. You can do r2pm-s, and it'll go ahead and list the currently available Radar2 plugins. And, you know, depending on what you're looking for, there might be something of interest, so definitely check it out. Uh, but, yeah, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and share.